You can smell the tequila. and they're so fun oh my god look at me anyway good morning how are we today is going to be a bit of a vlog day three of our um no day two god of our week of videos and giveaways i'm gonna do a bit of a vlog a bit of a festive fun christmasy vlog yeah we're gonna to go to the gym i have a sponsor in this video which is also helping me out with the giveaway for you guys and oh my god I actually can't quite believe who it is. Once I finish my coffee, I will show you. Big, fat, huge, dream come true. I've literally been pinching myself like every step of the way for this ad. Like picking the things, getting the things, planning the video, like I just can't believe it. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna go and get my nails done. I'm gonna get some festive nails. And then today my brother um, actually comes home, Matt, for Christmas. Um, so he's back today. He literally just left, apparently. It's 20 past seven. Apparently he just left. The drive's six hours. And then we are going on a Christmas night out. Every year we try and do like a family like night out a few days before Christmas or whatever. My older brother isn't actually with us for Christmas this year. He's at his girlfriend's. And he was meant to come this weekend, but now he can't. <laughs> he's isolating. But yeah, it's all booked and Matt's coming home and whatever. So we're all still going to go. Um, we're just going out for food and then um, some drinks or whatever in Canterbury. Gym. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite hot in this. I think the heating's turned on. I've just put my hair up in a bun. I'm not gonna lie, she is quite greasy. I've not washed my hair in a good few days, and if you're not new to this channel, my hair can only normally last like a day. This video is ever so kindly and somehow sponsored by Gymshark. Rolled the clip of me three weeks ago saying that I would dream to die, would dream to die, <laughs> still a bit early, die to dream, no, I would. I would die to work with Gymshark. Oh my God, I actually can't form a sentence. Um, when I got my stuff from their Black Friday sale, I just got my Gymshark order that I ordered the Black Friday sale. So I thought I would show you all. I am obsessed with Gymshark. I hope I get to work with them one day. I mean, you guys are obsessed with Gymshark. Everything I wear to the gym is from Gymshark. Literally everything. Well, talk about manifesting. It's probably gone and bloody done it. So yeah, um, Gymshark are sponsoring today's video, which means they are also kindly gifting us our giveaway prize for today. So today, if you're new here and this is the first video you are watching this week, there's already one live on my channel and there will be four more, including this one. Monday to Friday this week, I'm doing five videos and a giveaway in every single one of them. So today you can win. I'm pretty sure there is two £100 Gymshark gift vouchers up for grabs. I will double, double, triple check and put that on the screen, but I'm pretty sure we've got two 100 vouchers so there will be two winners both win 100 pounds all you've got to do to win is subscribe to my youtube channel go over to my instagram follow me on instagram and there's an instagram post on my feed give that a like and if you want for an extra entry just tag a friend and put it on your story but gym shark gym shark gym shark can you actually believe it guys unbelievable so i've got some stuff from their new december launches i'm gonna put their proper names and stuff on the screen but i'm just gonna show you what they are so we'll start with what i think i'm gonna wear today look at this set in this beautiful kind of like orangey color and the back's like this so cute i've not actually tried any of this on yet so we can try a few on together before we leave and then these are the leggings huge big waistband i really like the extra details 
love and then we've got this which is so cute so i've got like a three-piece kind of set so these are the shorts they're like a waffle gorgeous and then another little sports bra for this this is like super nice and like stretchy it's probably like a low impact sports bra or a top i don't know if it even counts as a sports bra but that's fine for me because itty bitty titty non-existent committee and then I've got the leggings for it again in that waffle kind of material. I'll try these on probably when I get back from the gym because I do have to go. And then in that same kind of range, I've got this nice little waffle top and the matching leggings for it. How cute. I might actually wear this like out like when I go and get my nails done. And then I've got just some black trackies, which I was thinking the other day I really need some trackies that I can wear to the gym um, for like days when I wear shorts, but it's like a bit too cold to turn up in shorts. I'll be a bit too cold at the beginning of my session for shorts um, to like warm up in and stuff. So I'm super happy I've got these now. And then what I was really excited about as well, I've got this black top. It's low key kind of bulking season at the moment. So... The abs have kind of hibernated until summer, which is fine, but sometimes I want a top to wear in the gym. So I've got this nice black top with this cute back as well. So it's still a bit interesting. Just for days where I want to be a bit more covered up with like a pair of black shorts and stuff, I think that could be really, really cute. Any shorts, but I feel like an all black fit with black shorts, that could look really good. And then I've got a little throw over hoodie, which again is really cute for like winter like this because I'm always like putting on my actual jumpers that I wear out and then I have to wash them like every day because they're covered in sweat. This is the orange. I love this so much. This waistband, I love. I just love when like gym sets have a little bit of extra detailing on it. I think it's really cute. And the back of this sports bra as well is super nice. I love that. But I'm not gonna lie, my gym at the moment is boiling. Like, so warm. <laughs> so I'm thinking, let's put some Gymshark shorts on that I've got. Every single thing I own is from Gymshark, like literally. I think I have one gym set that's not from Gymshark. Okay, I wanna wear my grey mile shorts that I got in my, that I got a few weeks ago, just because I literally wore like a surgeon the other day and when I was squatting, thought I was gonna faint. There is so much heating on in that gym at the moment. Like, it's not a joke. So this is that green set, which I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually very surprised that. Definitely could go to this in the gym, especially me with this top anyway. Like the fact that it's enough pads or anything is fine for me. I could definitely do in this, but you know what? I actually genuinely do wanna wear this to my nail appointment later. So I'm thinking, let's wear camo adapt shorts pink training bra because then when it comes out the back of this black top it'll look like it matches the shorts and let's wear this top okay so i mean i do change my outfit about 100 times so instead of the camo i thought we would go for i've got a flex set on that i got literally i think this was like one of my first sets from gymshark and it's like one of my most loved so i've just got like a lilac -y purple shorts flex set on and i've put this top over the top and i actually love it i love the way it like fits up here it's like tight but not like tight do you know what i mean i feel like it really flatters your figure i actually really love it i never wear tops to gym i always wear sports bras but i actually really like that because some days you just can't be bothered for your stomach to be out do you know what i mean right so we're going to put my shoes on blazers and then today at the gym we are wearing blazers flat sole shoes because i'm gonna do some squats and stuff and i just wear them every day anyway they're like my gym shoe um we are gonna i'm very between programs at the moment like, I feel like my old program I've kind of outgrown and got a bit bored of and I'm waiting <laughs> until New Year's to start a new one just because I absolutely love a new year and I'm not going to lie, I am that bitch. Like, I just love a new year, new starts, new programs, new everything. So I'm waiting until New Year's to start my other one. I'm kind of just in between stuff, doing, like, my favourite exercises from, like, different days and, like, just doing what I feel like turning up at the gym, which is quite nice, like, towards the end of the year when, like, it's a bit more relaxed anyway. It's just do what it is you enjoy. So we're gonna do some pull-ups to start. I can't do a pull-up, but as in like variations. And then some hip thrusts, some squats. What did I decide? Bulgarian split squats? And then I think I said shoulder press, lateral raise, front raise. So I thought I'd give you an actual little voiceover of what I did in the gym. So here's me saying, how good am I at push-ups? Push-ups, these are pull-ups. <laughs> Clearly I know what I'm talking about. Um, I just like to see, look, you're really pull. Yeah, no, still definitely can't do one. Well, worth a try. And then I'm doing banded pull-ups. Normally I do five times five, but today I did three times five just because I wanted, I haven't done them in ages, so I just wanted to like do them again and see. And then I'm just warming up for squats. So we've got the bar and then I go 30 and then I go 40. I don't necessarily do a certain amount of reps, probably like four to six-ish, like five or six, just to warm up. And then my working set ATM is 50. Normally, again, I do five times five, but I thought I would challenge myself and try and do three times eight. 
but as you will see in a minute, I do fail on the 7th. Um, it's one of the things I probably could have got it up, although you can really see my face, I really, really do try very hard. I only just started properly training squats, like, within the last, like, month. Like, they've never been on my program consistently, but I like to just see where I'm at with them. Again, we're warming up for hip thrusts, working set was 100. Um, I've tried to, like, stay at 100 for a while, not a while, like, the last, like, few weeks, just to, again, really, like, work on form and get comfortable on that. So I did three times six, I think, on that. Bulgarian split squats. If you're on gym TikTok, you know exactly why I'm using this height behind me on my back foot. But again, um, three times ten on both legs, and then we're doing lateral raises and front raises, like a little superset. Um, three times ten again. And then lastly, we've got shoulder press, which I absolutely love. And again, just a little three times ten moment. And that was my gym session, so I hope you enjoyed. Back on the camera, and um, I'm making some oats. I literally make porridge every single day. Um, I like to think I'm some form of oat queen. So I've just mixed a scoop of that into here. So for reference, is that correct? I do it when it's out of the pan, not when it's like cold, but I don't like heat the protein powder, if you know what I mean. So this is raspberries in there as well, which is why it's like that. And now for the fun part. I'm thinking today, let's do a combo. I like to take a lot of pride in my oats, as I just said. So my toppings are my favorite part. I'm thinking half white chalk chips. So we've got white chalk chips on there. And then we'll go as well with that. Biscoff. A bit of blueberries today. I'm gonna do some straws that I just cut up. I feel like white chocolate Biscoff straws. Oh yeah. Ta-da! This is the best part of the day. When I'm in a rush, <laughs> I always eat food like first, so that I know I'm not gonna leave the house without food. Because if you want me <laughs> to leave the house without eating breakfast, oh my God, you've got another thing coming. I literally eat this every single day. I still need to film you guys on what I eat in a week. You really want it. <laughs> Such a good breakfast. Gosh, today was meant to be like a lovely, spend a slow morning with me, you know. We're gonna go to the gym and brand new gym stuff. We're gonna get our nails done, come home. But I was gonna put a bit of makeup on for my nails. Like, you know, just really have a nice time. And now I'm rushing to my nails it's in five minutes and I haven't even dried my hair. But you know what? That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, especially at this time of year. Right, I don't actually know what I want with my nails here. I think I know. Basically, I'm going to ask them, have you got X, Y, and Z? And if they don't, I think I might know. Let's hope we can get some cute festive nails going on. Well, that was a nightmare. Didn't I tell you they always take ages? And you know what? I don't even mind because they were so busy and like they must be stressed as well. But it's just like annoying when you have an appointment. There was four people waiting there with an appointment at half 10. And there's only, today there was four members of staff. There's only ever three in there. But they had three people booked for half 10 and we were all there at half 10 and no one was free and there was people waiting before us. And then at 11, three more people walked in with appointments at, for 11. Some walked in with an appointment for quarter past 11. And I was like, you know you couldn't have got all of us done. You knew we would sit and wait. You knew we'd sit and wait for you. But I went green in the end because by the time I got my appointment it was half 11 it was half 11 so I didn't want to wait and like someone do nail art and like I just be there for ages because they only um let Tommy do nail art and he was like with someone else so I didn't want to like wait around but I got this and it's like can you see the stripes it's like a magnet I didn't realize I just thought it was like a glittery green and then they put like a magnet on it so that like the nail polish forms like this line that you can see bizarre I just went into the crystal shop as well and got two new bracelets this is fluorite and this is New Jade. I tried to get you New Jade the other day. And I also got this ring that's like a lotus flower, which is really cute. Nutritious, festive lunch. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, finally. My Skylar parcels are here, which means we can film. Matt is here, you know, I'll show you him later. But I'm gonna rush now, because it's two minutes past two. We're gonna get the four o'clock train. We moved our food forward a little bit. Oh, advent calendar. Sorry, this has literally all been out of focus. I feel like I need a new camera, but like, just bought one. Uh, do any of you have advent calendars like this? Is this for 24 or for, yeah. Um, advent calendars like that that you um, fill yourself, because we've always, always, always had them. I've never had um, an advent calendar. Wow, and you're gonna ditch that stupid bitch. What I was saying is I've never had an advent calendar um, from the shop, like a cardboard one that you like, you know, classic like Cadbury's. Bon bon.
I filmed, everybody's basically ready. I'm doing the red suit moment, pretty rogue. I'm just gonna go and look in the big mirror to see if this gets bag matches. We're leaving, look who's home. Brainwater gets into the window. Brainwater gets into the window. Oh, look home. Hello, Matt's home. Woohoo! We're going Let's to Let's go, start the video. Ho, 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 <laughs> Merry Christmas, bro. <laughs> oh my god, are you up? <laughs> um, we are going to train now after five domestics and four shoe changes. Two <laughs> windows broken. We are on our way! <laughs> Mum basically started screaming that I was the reason <laughs> that I was the reason Matt ever changed his shoe. Yeah. Straight my screaming, Megan. And Dad's <laughs> in the middle of the street, and stamping her feet. And Dad's car lets him rain. Sounds, so like like so <laughs> Sounds more like you. <laughs> no offense, but you're really poor. <laughs> Okay, well, we're getting on the train car, with no alcohol, nothing. Much, who doesn't have a waterproof car, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Dad doesn't. Anyway, right, let's, well, just, let's go. Cause... Let's go. End the video. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Not again. Fake, fake cheers again. Oh, that wasn't happy. <laughs> cheers. Roger. Yeah, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. No, oh, you're so uncultured. No, I don't like it in the way. It's a palate cleanser. You shot your passion fruit. I mean, Prosecco. Shot it, 100%. It's a palate cleanser. I agree. Are you asking the fans? <laughs> Chat anyway, so. Mum, see. Mumsy, chant Mumsy, 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 Mumsy. Matt wants to go to this. Um, my uh, no, no Matt, just sit down a minute. Oh, Matt that. wants to go. No, Matt wants to go. Okay. Basically, yes. Yeah, Gaff called Cherry Tree. All you might think are Union Cannabis that you'd heard of. Little like Viagra Pop with the side street, just by Jack Wills. It's a YouTube <laughs> YouTube for Santa, why are you talking like that now? Basically, they sell a drink called uh, Pink and they're genuinely nice, even though the name is misleading, but not that misleading. And basically, Mum doesn't want one. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice that Matt the Dick is these classy places. Everybody in the park. <laughs> Tell me Matt picked the bar without telling me Matt picked the bar. Bins. <laughs> Next to the bins. <laughs> there we are, sat outside. So we are in the restaurant now. It's Cafe Desimi. The restaurant. The restaurant. The one and only. We're in Cafe Desimi in Canterbury. I have just old nachos. Yeah, nachos. Right, so I'm thinking, oh, right. Don't even touch me, I'm getting nachos. I love nachos. Um, I don't know what. Pasilla. Oh, it says beef. Okay, I don't want beef. Three fried beans, though. The Chipotle aubergine and mushroom burrito. So good. I've had that before, but I was vegan, so I didn't have any of the cheddar and stuff, but that's so good. But I'm thinking I want a fajita. I've got a frozen raspberry daiquiri. Go wild. Cheers. We didn't cheers. Cilantro. Your little wine glass is funny. I'm so sorry. You can smell the tequila. That's perfect, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, come here. That is so good. Oh my god, unreal.